Once you have tags and events set up, you can start using filters to find events and see what's coming up on the calendar. We'll be using the filter sidebar on the left of the page, which you can always hide or show using this arrow. With the My Events dropdown, you can show just the events where you're an owner, approver, or subscriber. To subscribe to an event, go to the event page, and from the dropdown, select Subscribe to this event. Now, you can get updates even if you're not an owner or approver. And back on the calendar, when you select the subscriber filter, this will be one of the events that you see. You can also filter events based on their status. So it'll only show events that are approved, pending, or declined. And of course, you can filter by using tags. When you click on a tag or a set of multiple tags, only events with those tags will be visible on the calendar. You can combine all these different ways to filter at the same time. So if you wanna see all the youth events that are currently pending, where you're an approver, no problem. And you can always clear any of the individual filters you've set or just reset everything by clearing all the filters at once. If you switch over to the table view, you'll see a list of all your upcoming events and you can still sort through them using all the same options in the filter sidebar. The big difference with the table view is that each event only shows up once. Even if it's a recurring event, like a weekend service, only the next occurrence will be visible here.